This clip is going to explain how we can use Atlas to produce a trial balance in AX 2012. This is actually one of two clips. This first clip will focus on producing the balances using free format. The second clip will be using the preferred or the advanced method of caching. In terms of performance, cache is very strongly recommended. But we will work this based on the free format. The first thing we need to do is to produce a list of our main accounts which we do by selecting the table main accounts and then just filtering firstly on a small selection of accounts secondly looking up and selecting the account types once selected we simply apply them and then from the AX table relations which Atlas reads we're going to add the chart of accounts once the chart of accounts has been added as a joint table we can then look up and add the shared chart of accounts. Lastly I select my output and because this is going to be using free format I'm just going to add three managed columns. The first of which I'm going to rename as debit. The second as credit and the third is balance. I can now insert my dynamic report, give myself a little bit of room for my free format formulae. Then in the first cell I'm just going to select free format balance and reporting for the dimension set balance in AX2012 I just add my filters. Firstly for my AX company, in this case CEU. Secondly for my date, the end of June 2007. The post posting layer I'm going to look up directly from AX and add and the posting type similarly I look up directly. Two more fields I'd like to add. Well firstly the main account because I'd like to filter across all of my main accounts and secondly using the relations tab again I'm just going to add my dimension tree. Now that these two filters have been added, again we can use these and link them directly into the Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to use my Excel knowledge to unlock the reference of the main account so I can report across all accounts. And then for my dimension tree, again I look up directly from AX where I can select ACC and add it. Lastly I select my output which is going to be the debit amount. I could aggregate, but for the purpose of this report I won't. And now I just drag that column across. The only difference with this formula is going to be the output, which is now going to be the credit amount. Again, I could have aggregated the two together, but I'm going to keep them separate. And just use this Excel formula at the end to show the balance. Now that we have the balance, I can actually compare and check that this matches up with my balances in AX2012, which it does. So this is the first of two clips. This is using free format. We do though strongly recommend that you look at the caching because certainly across a larger selection of main accounts and of data, the caching will improve your performance markedly.